Data plays a critical role in helping to inform access, quality and survivorship in cancer care. We sent Nick Thatcher to find out more about the Collaboration for Oncology Data in Europe, or CODE, an initiative established by IQVIA with support from leading biopharmaceutical companies which aim to expand our understanding of cancer care in a real-world setting. There have been significant advances in cancer diagnosis and treatment innovation, but across Europe there are still significant differences in clinical care. Only by coming together and sharing large structured databases can we understand better the degree of variation in the delivery of frontline cancer care. If we can iron out these variations, then it's got to be good for European citizens and the community of patients that we serve. IQVIA, the human data science company, is using real-world data to develop a better understanding of cancer care. At the centre of that vision is CODE, the collaboration for oncology data in Europe, that is building a dedicated oncology data network. We have designed a way to allow the cancer community to cooperate with one another, to share information in real time, respecting privacy, so that that can be fed back to the cancer community, so the clinicians themselves, the patients themselves who are being treated, but also the agencies, the funders, the payers of the healthcare system across Europe. That way, the clinicians and patients have the data so that they can make the most appropriate treatment decision. Also, this data can help address the challenges of financial sustainability. Some of these new cancer drugs cost an awful lot of money and it's really difficult to find flexibility within budgets to bring them into the clinic. I think the code data will allow us to build rather cleverer models of how we purchase, use new drugs in moving forward in that way. Hospitals across Europe are already joining the Oncology Data Network and it's making progress towards its vision of bringing together 2,000 centres over 10 years. Having the opportunity to have access 24-7 and in real time means that if patients are asking questions we can quickly respond but I also think that these data can be used for informing for example the development of evidence-based guidelines in our practice by benchmarking with other centers and to support evidence when we are negotiating or discussing with policy makers. With the rise of personalised medicines, much larger data sets are needed to inform the care that delivers the best outcome for each patient. Nowadays, for example, taking uh, breast cancer, it's not breast cancer as such, it's breast cancer of that type with these uh, characteristics and you need to adapt your treatment you know that at that moment we need the information all over Europe to have the best strategy in that small niche of patients with this type of characteristic. Rigorous governance and multi-stage processes to render the information non-identified are at the heart of the oncology data network to ensure both data protection and patient and clinician privacy. What's key to me is first of all being sure that the patient voice is heard that's their concerns as well as their priorities. It also means that we can ensure that we are very transparent about what we're doing with the data and making sure that we meet patient concerns concerning security, confidentiality and consent. And finally it's about making sure that the public understand the benefits of this data network because the benefits are tremendous. So we're protecting privacy, protecting confidentiality and so because the network is a cooperative network, at all times the hospitals are in control of their data. What the clinical community is getting very excited about is being able to tap into a source of knowledge about how their colleagues across Europe are practicing oncology and imagine how insightful, how useful a source of knowledge that would be. Our ambition is to invite any centre who is treating cancer patients to join the network to cooperate with their European colleagues and contribute their information to the network as well.